In this video, I'm going to show you how to add floating notification bars on your WordPress website, just like this one. Let's go. So there are two methods to basically doing this. The first one is a premium plugin, but it is a lot more than just adding notification bars. The second one is free, but it adds basic features or basic functionality to allow you to add notification bars. So pick whichever one you like, but I'm assuming that if you want to add notification bars, you value your subscribers and emails and you collecting leads on your site. So the first method might apply to you more. So. The first method I would recommend that you use is opt-in monster. And this is a monster of a plugin and a service which has tons of features for you to help collect leads on your site. So we have the light box pop-ups, we have floating bars, which I'm gonna demonstrate, scroll boxes, gamified wheels, page level targeting, which is amazing, exit level detection, geolocalization targeting, and 100 plus templates. So it's a wonderful service for you to generate leads from your site. And floating bars is just one of the functionality. I'm gonna show you how advanced this is. So it is a premium plugin, but it is a very affordable. You can get started with, I think a very small fee. So uh, if you are like this, if you want this, if this is something that you consider, you can go and make a purchase and I'm gonna show you the process of how to set it up. And then if you follow along the tutorial, you need to purchase this. Otherwise you can watch it and then figure out if this is for you. So I already have an account. So once you create an account, all you have to do is you can log in and see your dashboard. So right now I have a dashboard, I, there's nothing in here. But the best part about Optin Monster is you don't need to actually go to the site uh, again and again to set up campaigns. Everything can, can be done right inside WordPress. So inside my WordPress website, I'll go to the plugin section and I'll add a new plugin. And Optin Monster comes with a companion plugin, which you can install, Optin Monster. We'll search for the Optin Monster plugin here. And this plugin shows up here, which is already, you can see 1 million plus active installs. So we'll click and install the plugin here. And the plugin is now installed. Let's also activate it. So the plugin is now activated. Now what you can do is, uh, I think I already connected my account when I was testing this. Otherwise, what you have to do is just, uh, it'll give you a pop-up to either create a new account or connect your existing account. And if you connect your existing account, it might ask you to log in. Otherwise, sometimes it just automatically logs in. So ultimately what you have to do is the plugin has to connect with your account on the website directly. So I'll just click connect my site. And yeah, this is the, what you see usually. So this is what I'm seeing. So I'll click connect my existing account or you can claim a free account. And I think there's a free trial as well. So I'll click connect your existing account and this will give me a pop-up here like this. So I'll click connect to WordPress and this will just take a few minutes or less than a minute, I'd say. So site connected successfully. Now I'll reload and bring me back to the site. Now, everything that you want to do, you can actually do here. You can see all of this and it's all also on the uh, Optin Monster website. So this is more convenient to have right inside the dashboard. What we'll do is we'll go to the campaigns and we create a new type of campaign. So we'll click create your first campaign and then you have options to create campaigns types. You have pop-ups. So I'll just show you some different types of campaign pop-ups. So you can have different kinds of pop-ups here and you can even click preview. And the preview is very nice. It actually gives you a live demonstration how the pop-up will look like. So it's very easy for you to figure out, hey, this, this looks nice. I wanna add this to my website. So we have pop-ups, we have floating bars, full screen, inline slide-ins and gamified pop-ups or gamified, I'd say campaigns that you can create, but let's stick to floating bar for now. So I'll click floating bar and floating bar again has a lot of templates. So if I do this and click preview, you'll see a live demonstration here. So you have buttons, you have great designs, you have text. So everything is already done for you. So let's explore a couple of templates that I can give a demonstration. Let's click preview. And then you have Earth Day offer. So yeah, this is something also you can include like timers and something. So this is, you can gamify or I say so add some scarcity or urgency to your offers, which makes them more valuable. So we have the 4th of July sale. And you see there are a lot of templates. I'm scrolling, I'm keeping scrolling and see a lot of designs, a lot of options here. So let's say if I want, I, I, I wanna show you a, uh, one with a timer so I can actually give you a demonstration on how you can use this. Okay, this looks nice, the t-shirt store. So just to give you an idea, I'll just use this template. I'll give it a name, t-shirt campaign. Let's start building campaign. Now, when you click the start campaign button, it technically takes you to Optin Monster website. So you'll see in the URL bar, it actually goes to app.optinmonster.com. So it's it's routed that way. But you're just using WordPress, so you don't feel the difference. So this is a predefined template already for you. Now you have all these elements you can add, and then you can also customize the elements already added. So if you want to customize anything, just click on it. So if I click this, you see it's 40% off. I can change this. I can click the discount coupon button. Now we have text, we have styling, we have background colors, box shadows, and we can customize everything. We can even add custom CSS class. If you're a pro user, you know how that works. Once again, I'll click 
this and now i can change the text for the limited time offer text now i can click the timer and i can the seven day timer three day timer it can be a dynamic timer or static timer i can restart countdown after tens conversion tracking and i can add success scripts so once the timer is uh, done i can add a script here uh, which will be triggered after the script ends or after the timer ends. So it's very advanced and it gives you tons of control over what you want to do. So if you go to the advanced, now you have styling options, you have padding, styles, background images, box shadows, every single thing about the content here can be customized. Then you have the button also, go to the button, you have all these options. What happens when you click the button? So go to a view, redirect it, open an email client, click to call, click to copy text, close the campaign, reload the page. So you have uh, almost endless amount of possibilities what you want to do so regardless of what type of campaign you want to run it's all here all can be done right so you have conversion tracking enabled then you have success scripts again once again with every single thing so it is fairly fairly advanced now you can just click and just uh, just submit this campaign or make this campaign live if you're not interested that also works but the true power of optin monster lies in all these features so that you can actually uh, take full advantage of it right so there's also a cool feature here where if you click here you can go to this option and you can go to the floating bar settings and you can even load that on the top of the page so if that's something you want on the top of the page just enable this option and for that you just have to click somewhere in the outside border which will bring up the settings for the actual pop-up so you can change this again you have the background option here which you can see here and then everything is customizable once you're happy with this you can go to the display rules option and this is where it gets even more powerful and interesting so right now these display rules allow you to add a set of rules on how you want to customize your website so or how do you want to display the pop-up so for example in a t-shirt campaign let's say you have a clothing store and you have t-shirts and jeans and trousers and jackets and coats you want the t-shirt campaign to uh, be visible only on the t-shirt category page you can do that so you can have just a current uh, url path and you can have a contains thing or contains and then you can add the category slug there for t-shirts and then only that category will have this pop-up then time on page is another uh, i say a parameter you can use so uh, if i just give you a brief idea you have page level targeting exit intent targeting new visitor returning visitor so you can customize based on who when where on-site re retargeting and e-commerce so you have tons of control over when you want to display anything so if somebody comes to the page for the first time second visitor third visitor you spend some time on the page xyz everything is possible but the default ones in this campaign are pretty much nice so time on page is at least five seconds so uh, when someone is here for five seconds then it shows up and right now the current url is uh, your path is any page you can also do the home page not the home page exact match a certain page contains does not contain ends with does not end with complete even regex control and then you can add more rules and add more rule groups so again the world's oyster figure out every single thing or i say uh, you can just imagine how powerful this is and you can just tweak and tweak to fine-tune your campaigns once again if you're happy you go to integrations if you want to have some kind of integrations with lead lead capture lead sending all that is also available so it's, it even goes for power users if you want to use this for uh, full-on lead generation then you can go to analytics and you connect google analytics and so you can see how much your conversion rates are on that so that's also possible then you go to the publish option and if you're happy with everything now you see all the things are already verified and uh, just click the publish button here and it's published now you just have to save this and now this campaign should be published now if you click the cross button we'll be taken back to our website we can go back once again i i think i've barely scratched the surface of optin monster because we're just testing out one type of campaign and there's tons of different types of campaigns we can try so if i go back to campaigns here all right so it's still pending so I, what i'll do is i'll click here and i'll just click publish and this will publish the campaign all right so now that the campaign is published we can just go to the site here let's visit the site and i'll just open up a random post on the site I'll just hover around the site for five seconds and if everything is set up correctly we should see the pop-up anytime soon so that's that it is so then five seconds as we configure the pop-up is now here we can just close this and whatever settings you have configured based on that you will see the pop-up so that's how easy it is to use optin monster to create pop-ups and again optin monster is uh, amazing amazing a monster of a plugin when it comes to setting up campaigns so if i show you the main website again optin monster just giving you a reminder of what's possible this was the floating bars we also have light bot pop-ups i gave you a demonstration of the pop-ups your scroll boxes gamified wheels so hey spin the wheel to get a discount code that's also very popular page level targeting i already showed you then you have exit intent so you somebody's trying to exit the website you can give them a pop-up hey 
uh, uh, real time as a limited time offer and geolocation targeting is also useful if you want to have some specialized campaigns so this is opt-in monster and what the kind of campaigns you can create for it so this is the first option let's talk about the second option the second option is a free plugin so what i'll do is just go back to the plugins option i'll add another plugin to the site the plugin is called notibar n-o-t-i b-r b-a-r so i'll click on it and we'll install the plugin now and let's wait for it to finish and this is done let's click activate and the notable plugin settings or does not add anything to the menu bar here so if you go to the settings here this is where you will find the naughty bar or you can just click the settings here in the plugin section and this will take it to the customizer directly because it, it it allows the configuration through the customizer so if i just go back to the customizer now you see this is the first option which is added by naughty bar so i'll click this and this is the default notification option and opt-in monster is also coming up so i'll just close this for now now you have general content style and display options let's explore them one by one so i can give you a demonstration of what's possible in general option you can enable and disable the naughty bar so if you want to disable it throughout the site just do this alignment center left you can do that now i don't think uh, um, i have added a lot of elements so i'll just stick with the uh, center alignment then you have the hide and close button so what does this do if you want no button there'll be no button here if you want to have the close button, it'll be closed. And if you have the want a toggle button, you can have the button changed to a toggle. Sometimes it lacks. You have to uh, publish and then refresh the page for to see the changes. But it does work. I have tested this out. Then you also have the content width and then position type. Now position type, uh, let me give in a demonstration. If I make it absolute, it kind of like scrolls away. So if I scroll down on a long page, if I let's say go here. Now if I scroll away, you see the, the, uh, the position of that I'd say the bar is just stuck on the page. But if I make it fixed, it kind of acts like a sticky bar. So now it's, it sticks around with the page. So depending on how you want to set this up, this is completely up to you. Then again, we had in the, in the uh, content options, you can change the text. So this is a sticky bar example. Then you have the on off button, which you can enable disable, or uh, that means you can enable the button or disable it. If you want, don't want to have a button, you just want to have a notice here. Then you have the button text. So click me okay then you can have the url and change the font so let's say medium so now it's medium font here and then you can have the open window so if i click the button it'll take me to the open window and if you want to configure this differently for mobile phones based on the viewport you can have the same options here as well so it's very flexible even for a free plugin going back to style options now you can have change of styles so the predefined styles are pretty okay pretty decent in my opinion there's enough contrast between the text and the background so you can actually see the text anywhere you don't need to customize it if you are happy with the default options but i'm happy that there are customization options here so you want to customize everything and you can even change the font here if you want to make it really big or small so color options are also present and i think i like some of these options already i think this is this blends into the background for this website but we can go with this one. I like this one. So I'll go back and then you have the display options. So this is where it again kind of mix or I'd say uh, it's limited in its approach, but it's a free plugin. So I can't complain. What uh, what devices do you want to display? All devices, only desktop, only mobile. That's completely great. So you can have uh, just uh, I say this sticky bar only for mobiles, only for desktops or both. And then which pages you want to display? So you can have pages display on selected pages, hidden on all pages or hide on selected pages so this happens with uh, or these settings are available for posts as well as pages so for example if i say display on selected post then i can add the post id or select the post from here so let's say new test i'll just do, do new test and now it is visible so you can select any number of posts that you want to have this uh, sliding bar or i say a sticky bar on and then you can also have hide on post or hide on all posts and then display only on pages and vice versa and then hide only on selected posts. So in this case, I'll just disable this and I'll select post two. So this will not be visible on post two, but it will be visible on every single other page on the site. So this is pretty cool. It does have plenty of options. So with this, you can actually add a simple sticky bar here, but doesn't doesn't allow you to capture emails and do all that good stuff with Optin Monster does. But depending on what you are trying to do with your website, either this or either opt-in monster both can be great solutions to add this kind of sticky bars on your site that's it for this video what do you think you have any questions which one do you like just let me know in the comments otherwise you should subscribe to our channel for more wordpress tutorials my name is yuvraj you're watching wp beginner and i'll catch you in the next video take care